Okay, so uh, hello everyone. I'm going to present our study about the effect of a Dutch proficiency on immigrants' income, savings, and financial wealth in the Netherlands. We often see an, an important requirement for an assistant professor position at a Dutch university is that you should have a good command of Dutch or you need to master Dutch within two years. This sometimes is a prerequisite for a permanent employment contract. Immigrants, regardless of their education level, cannot escape their host country's language. The question arises as to whether immigrants' host country language proficiency impacts their labor market performance, that is, employment possibility, income, and hourly wage. Studies have shown that host country language proficiency impacts employment possibility and earnings. For example, researchers have found a positive correlation between language proficiency and immigrants' earnings in Germany, UK, and the US. However, these studies often have three problems. First, language proficiency and income may be correlated through unobserved characteristics or omitted variables, such as higher IQ or ability in general. Immigrants who have a higher ability may also better learn the host country language and more easily find a job. Second, all existing studies have used a self-assessment to measure immigrants' language proficiency from survey data which may have substantial measurement errors. And thirdly, the correlation could be bidirectional. Good language skills increase immigrants' uh, chances to secure a job, but the experience of working in the host country language environment may also reversely cause improvement in the language proficiency. We try to deal with these problems in our study. First, to reduce the potential omitted variables, we controlled for several individual factors such as immigrants' IQ, self-control, uh, et cetera. Second, to reduce the measurement error, all immigrant participants took a standard Dutch language placement test. Third, to build a one-directional relationship, we used concurrent language proficiency to predict the future situation. As time progresses unidirectionally and the future income cannot influence past Dutch proficiency. Finally, we use the econometric method of instrument variable approach to uncover the causal effect of language proficiency. In addition to the labor market performance, we moved one step forward by looking at the effect of host country language proficiency on immigrant savings and financial assets. We used the survey data for the Netherlands. There were 659 immigrants participants coming from Turkey, Morocco, Netherlands, and Leeds, Suriname, Indonesia, and other non-Western and Western countries. In 2016, we designed a special questionnaire which was administered by the LIST panel at Tiova University. We collected the survey data on immigrants' linguistics background, IQ, financial literacy, risk aversion, patience, cultural temporal focus, saving tension, self-control, demographic information, and language proficiency, etc. All these participants took a Dutch placement test of a dialogue, which is seen as a reliable language test. In this test, participants get 75 words and judge whether they were, they were real words or pseudo words. We also obtain participants' self-assessment of the extent to which they have trouble speaking the Dutch language when having conversation in Dutch and the extent to which they have trouble understanding Dutch language when reading newspapers, letters, or brochures. Furthermore, we obtained information about participants' net monthly income, employment status, hourly wage, riskless assets, that's savings, and financial wealth in 2016. Moreover, participants who took the survey in 2016 were traced in 2020 for their savings and financial wealth, and in 2021 for their income, employment status, and hourly wage. 
We want to study whether and how Dutch proficiency predicts this economic outcome in 2016 and five years later. Especially, we want to use the 2016 as a baseline and see whether Dutch proficiency can still predict the future outcome when the baseline is controlled for. So these will be all our dependent variables. The independent variables include Dutch proficiency, demographic factors, and other individual character characteristics such as IQ, risk aversion, patients, financial knowledge, temporal focus, self-control, saving tension, etc. For the main analysis, we use the probit models for binary outcomes and the Tobit models for non-negative dependent variables such as income and savings. In addition, we did three sensitivity analyses. First, we used a self-assessed read and speaking Dutch as a proficiency measurement. And second, we used the first generation immigrants while additionally controlling for immigrants' length of stay. Third, we used the instrument variable approach in econometrics to study causality, which I will give more details later. Let's have a look at the results. First, Immigrants exam Dutch proficiency positively correlates with employment in both 2016 and 21, keeping other factors constant. Exam Dutch proficiency still predicts the, the case uh, in 2021, even after we controlled for the 2016 employment status baseline. Similarly, we found that the Dutch proficiency predicts immigrants' current and future monthly income and hourly wage. In short, immigrants with higher Dutch proficiency have higher employment possibility, higher net income, and higher hourly wage, both in 2016 and 21. Furthermore, immigrants with higher Dutch proficiency have more savings and financial wealth in 2016 and 2021, while controlling for a number of factors. Dutch proficiency remains to be significant in predicting 2020, even after the baseline of uh, uh, savings or financial wealth in 2016 is controlled for. Okay, now let's have a look at the sensitivity analysis. First, we use the self-assessed Dutch speaking and reading proficiency for robustness checks. The lines in the figures uh, for savings and the financial wealth, you can see uh, employment status displayed a similar pattern to those of exam Dutch proficiency. These two plots are for net monthly income and hourly wage. In short, the association between Dutch proficiency and outcomes are robust. However, the subjective reading and speaking Dutch scores are less likely to show significant effects. For instance, you can see the pink lines showing that the predictions of the speaking Dutch for paid work income and hourly wage in 2021 are no longer significant while controlling for the concurrent situation in 2016. Furthermore, with a comparison between self-assessed speaking and self-assessed reading Dutch, the effect of language proficiency is more profound for reading. Second, we use a subsample of first-generation immigrants to examine whether the language effect we found is due to immigrants' different lengths of stay. If immigrants have stayed in the host country for a longer time, they may build a better network and accumulate more country-specific human capital and have increased employment possibilities, higher income, savings, and wealth. Results show that the effect of exam Dutch proficiency is robust for all dependent variables, even after controlling for the length of stay, while length of stay itself is not significant in any model. Third, we use instrument variable approach to uncover the causal effect of Dutch proficiency. Remember that we once mentioned language proficiency and labor market performance may be just correlated through an omitted variable such as ability in general. Immigrants who have a higher ability may better learn Dutch language and more easily get a higher income. An omitted variable 
is included in the error of a regression model, if that proficiency is correlated with the error time, then we say there is endogeneity. We need to use instrument variables approach to find out whether there is endogeneity and to uncover the causality. A valid instrument in induces changes in the independent, independent variable, but has no independent effect on the dependent variable. Specifically, suppose the potential omitted variable is general ability. Then a valid instrument uh, variable should be correlated with Dutch proficiency, but not correlated with general ability. For our study, we use two instruments. The first one is based on the age of arrival in the host country. The second one is the linguistic family of the language that immigrant speaks best. The logic is that both age of arrival and the linguistics distance to Dutch can influence an immigrant's Dutch proficiency, but not their general ability. For example, suppose child A arrives in Amsterdam at age 10, whereas child B arrived at 12. Child A had a better Dutch proficiency uh, than the child B because of an early age of arrival, but we don't assume child A has a better ability generally. Also, speakers of a Germanic language, such as German, English, uh, they can learn Dutch easily, and then French or Italian, Spanish. But we don't assume that people from different language groups have generally different ability. Then we use over identification tests to see whether the two instruments are valid. The test doesn't reject the valid validity of the two instruments. Then we use Hoffman test to see whether there is a considerable endogeneity for the regression model of employment status, hourly wage, riskless savings, and financial wealth. The null hypothesis of the Hoffman test cannot be rejected, indicating that there is no significant evidence of endogeneity problem for the analysis. Regressions without using instruments are consistent and efficient, and the effects of language proficiency on these dependent variables discussed above can be interpreted as a causal effects. As for the income, the null hypothesis of the Hoffman test is rejected. So there is endogeneity in the regression model. The effect of language proficiency is still significant using instrumental variable approach with two instruments. This suggests that there is a causal effect of Dutch proficiency on immigrants' income. In sum, based on the surveys of Dutch immigrants, we have found that immigrants' host country language proficiency has a positive causal effect on immigrants' employment, income, hourly wage, savings, and financial wealth in the short and the long term. In particularly, uh, to the best of our, no our knowledge, we have uh, shown for the first time that host country language proficiency can predict immigrant savings and financial wealth concurrently and four years later. Additionally, we show that effects from self-assessed speaking and reading Dutch are generally robust, but the subjective reading and speaking Dutch schools are less likely to show significant effects. For the self-assessment, the effect of language proficiency is more profound for uh, reading than speaking. Our study also has some methodological implication in terms of measuring language proficiency in survey data. Although self-assessment uh, language proficiency may provide some useful information, we provide empirical evidence showing that the self-assessment indeed on the estimates the influence of language proficiency on labor market performance. Debating results between different Dutch proficiency measurements suggest that future studies should consider at least one standard measurement of language proficiency in addition to or instead of a self-assessment. Our results also have implication for policymakers and educators. The government should improve conditions for language learning and inform the targets uh, this immigrant to motivate their learning of Dutch. And the language educators should also give more importance to reading proficiency because for a functional life, one also needs a vocabulary that is not used in the informal spoken 
conversation, you need to be a literate person. And the immigrant office might also want to improve the Dutch integration exam difficulty level. Thank you very much. That's all.